Welcome back. As you can see, I'm still waiting for my furniture to be delivered, so please bear with me. But moving on to more important things. There is a reason that there is caution tape all over the thumbnail of this video. This video has the potential to destroy the wrong person if the information I'm about to give you is utilized irresponsibly. So let that sink in for a second before we proceed. On this channel, as you know, we're all about making money. Let's not beat around the bush. Do we have the option to play it safe, where I cover my own ass by being very PC, very risk averse in what we talk about? Do I have the option with feeding you with a baby spoon because I can't possibly trust you to act responsibly if we talk about anything too juicy or substantial? Of course I do, but that's not bringing value. And if you subscribe to this channel, you know the value is where we like to focus. If you haven't subbed yet, what are you doing? We welcome you to do so and also welcome any comments and questions you have. I will do my best to get back to. So with that being said, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to continue giving you some tools that you can use to your own advantage. And you are going to understand that I'm not even close to a financial advisor and promise me not to be stupid with the information and put yourselves in precarious situations. Deal? Okay, let's get to it. I'll first set some context. We have talked about crypto being in a magical place right now. Please reference a lot of my previous videos as to the many reasons why I believe this is. We are about to see some parabolic growth in the space to the point that I believe we will never see this opportunity again in our lifetimes. I said it. It's a bold statement, but I truly stand by it. We are in such a magical precipice right now between crypto meeting traditional finance and all the beautiful revenue that comes along with that, all the beautiful price performance that we see. We would be fools not to capitalize as much as we possibly can right now. The main issue many of you have, I assume, is that you don't have funds to invest, either because you are now tapped out, dry powder's gone after you've wisely been DCAing during this bear market, or maybe you're just fairly new and haven't truly understand how, understood how markets work and so haven't yet taken any positions. There are numerous reasons behind a lack of funds that unfortunately will still categorize you with many of the masses that will be kicking themselves in the future for not having enough skin in the game, for not realizing the opportunity to change your life is at hand and for not being brave enough. Sorry, maybe I'm being a little bit too candid, but if you're sensitive, you shouldn't be here anyway. I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to investing, sometimes the more skin in the game you have, the less of a risk there is for you, which Sounds silly, right? But big money investors have always understood this. For instance, we've talked about even the blue, trip, blue chip cryptos like Bitcoin or Ethereum seeing some potentially almost guaranteed, dare I say it, returns of a three to five X this bull cycle. Well, someone with a few hundred thousand or million invested could be content with a three to five X because the amount of money returned is substantial. Someone with a thousand bucks? Well, they may be tempted to leave their investment riding a little bit too long and fall victim to a rapid price fall without having pulled anything out because they are waiting for unrealistic gains on their small investment because they have to, because that's the only way they're going to change their lives. You get the picture. However, again, between now and the bull market, most won't have the time or the resources to accumulate a substantial investment. And so their portfolios, due to necessity, may skew much more into the risky side of things due to the need to hunt out projects and tokens for much bigger 50, 100,000 X returns, living in more of a world of hopium because they want to impact their lives in a substantial way. I get it. We all get it. Now, some more context. When a person becomes wealthy or comes across a sudden upward swing in their net worth, the power and opportunity isn't in their money that they have at hand. It's in the ability to leverage borrowed money to a much more favorable extent. Basically, they can borrow more at probably much cheaper rates. This is something successful people, people used to working with money, understand. And something you see a lot of newly minted celebrities, for instance, or athletes often don't understand out of the gates and have the risk of either losing a lot of money or going bankrupt, as we've seen time and time again. In short, you put your money to work for you in the best possible ways, which sounds obvious, but it's something you always have to bear in mind. 
This is going to be covered, of course, in future videos. And so I'm not going to waste time going into detail in this one. Suffice to say, leveraging borrowed funds is how the world works to keep growing your wealth. Fact. Just take my word for it for now. Now, borrowing at any level it's important to say, should be approached strategically. We are taking into consideration the return on where it's being invested, the payback rates. We're hedging on our current income and ability to support each loan in a worst case scenario, and a whole host of other due diligence that goes in to being an adult human being with common sense and not a crazy gambler who hasn't given such an important decision, the thought and the planning that it requires. I hope I've drilled that home enough. Ultimately, if done correctly, borrowing money can expedite your investment and wealth journey a great, great deal to the point where it's almost a necessity to do so, unless, of course, you are already a billionaire. And even then, if you're not borrowing strategically, you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table. There is a reason Mark Zuckerberg has a mortgage on his home. Again, other things we can get into more granular detail in future videos, just broad strokes. Keep this in mind right now. So why am I bringing up this concept of strategic borrowing? Well, it's because you may not know, but you probably have the ability to borrow intelligently and without affecting your credit score at your fingertips right now, without you knowing it. I'm talking about things like business lines of credit. I'll be as direct and to the point here as I can. If you have good credit and you are an adult, you can likely start a business and apply for a business credit cards with an intro rate on that line of credit at 0% for 18 to 24 months meaning you will not incur any fees or interest rates during the first 18 months or so of paying back that line, paying back that loan. The best rate you will ever get. Free money, if you look at it like that, or rather advanced money. The business can be brand new. It's basically nothing. It doesn't have to do anything in order to qualify in most instances. And best of all, any loans taken out on those credit cards won't impact your personal credit score, which is hugely important if you have other things going on in your life or plan to, such as getting a mortgage, getting a car loan, and not having that extra debt-to-income ratio hanging over you. This is a powerful tool that people have been using for a long time, and it's big in avenues like real estate investment, for instance, where folks need funds for down payments and have faith in their business plan in how to pay back that loan effectively. Again, another video we can go into detail with the future in the future if you have an interest. Leave a comment below and we can certainly go into this in a lot more detail. Now, as you may be thinking, this is dangerous for those looking to stretch too much and take a loan they can't afford. It's imperative that you don't become one of these people. This is a perfect avenue for anyone who's planning to DCA a certain amount every week or every month. They can then see what they can afford over the next 18 months, what they would be investing in anyway, and simply take a credit line for a similar amount, giving you the freedom to get a much earlier position that doesn't leave you open to the inevitable uptrend in pricing in the market over that period. Now, what kind of banks offer this? Pretty much any bank with a business credit card. Amex is fantastic at this, and I've utilized them many times over the years. Now, I want to make it clear again. I'm not a financial advisor, and to many people out there, this video may seem like crazily irresponsible. Crazily irresponsible to tell people, especially when even suggesting it being a possible avenue for larger and faster crypto investments. My answer to that, number one, you are all responsible for your own actions. Let's make no bones about it. You are the one that pulls the trigger on your own personal decisions, and I'm not a financial advisor. Number two, I myself, along with other colleagues and friends, many of which are hugely successful, have utilized this method many times over the years, and I'm not a hypocrite trying to keep all these tools to myself. Simple. Number three, I have more faith in crypto right now than any other investment avenue, not to mention this market I see being an opportunity we won't see again, and I don't want my community missing out if they can help it. Trust me, I have invested in many other areas, had great success in a lot of other areas, looking through my lens, analyzing things the way I do. I don't see a bigger opportunity right now with this huge amount of magical revenue flying in at this intersection of crypto and traditional finance. We haven't seen it before, certainly not to this extent. And I don't want myself and I don't want you to miss out.
I'll reiterate though, be responsible. Don't stretch outside of what you would likely invest anyway. Use this as simply a fast forward, a way to get earlier positions if you believe, as I do, that the market will continue to trend upward, likely now until the bull market. We may see a dip or two. Of course, you know, everyone, that's the million billion dollar question when we hit the bottom. But I would say, looking at the risk to reward ratio, that risk curve right now, it's at an all time low. And now is the time to take positions if you can. Aside from that, we are here to make money. I want us all to grow rich together. And when we have the uncaged party in the bull cycle, I want us all drinking cocktails and feeling pretty damn good about ourselves and our choices. There are so many things to discuss in this area. Strategies to ensure favorable lines of credit, tax situation improvement, asset protection, a lot of stuff that, again, is very well known to many, but feels like Swahili to most. And if I can help bring some enlightenment in this area, then please utilize me to do so because there is a lot more opportunity out there for yourselves to expedite your own journey than perhaps you're thinking about. Now, we'll be going into these areas a great deal very soon in the private group. So if this is of a, a, at all of any interest to you, we would love to have you join the private group too. Again, number one focus is value. And the next couple of weeks are going to be big for the investment group, for the private group. And I would encourage anyone with an interest in this area to join up. Right now, I will say this also. If you are sensitive or super conservative, this group isn't for you. If you are here to make an impact, if you're here to dominate the next ball cycle, be brave and confident, yet making intelligent decisions, then this is for you. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. And I hope this was helpful to those I think it will resonate with. I will catch you on the next one. Again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love to see you join the community. It gives me a lot of joy taking a look at all the questions, all the new people coming in. It's exciting. And let's make the most out of this excitement as we possibly can. I'll catch you on the next one.